So, uh, hi, and welcome back uh, to uh, Ed Roman, the Rockstar Gardener. And um, I'm just going to basically show you what, what I'm doing here. You don't, you don't need a very big space. And what I've done here is I've opened up the earth. It's about a, uh, I'd say about a 40 by 20, 40 by 15 space. I've got another one over there as well that I've got other potatoes and things in and I start other carrots and <clears throat> I'm doing some peanuts and stuff this year as well as lettuces and uh, tomatoes, peppers. Um, but I just wanted to show you, uh, I'm going to talk about garlic today. And uh, a lot of the garlic that we have comes from China. And people buy it because it's cheap, but the way it's actually produced there is not good. And um, I'm not blaming China uh, or, or them as a people, but uh, the fact of the matter is you can grow your own garlic. And it, it's amazing, and it tastes incredible. And to me, it's no different than a flower. You should uh, plant garlic anywhere you can around your house. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, the main thing you need to do is, first of all, um, plant it in the fall. So uh, it's a fall planting thing, just like asparagus. Uh, you can buy the bulbs anywhere from stores, organic stores. You can use other garlic that you found. I suggest you try to find local garlic, so you're keeping it local. Um, and uh, I'm going to show you my garlic rose over here as the school bus goes by. I have no idea why there's a bus of people going by. It's a long weekend. Um, so here's the garlic. Uh, down in the rows and you can see them I bleed them out there's 36 of them here and uh, when you when you get a bulb you just you open the bulb up itself and each of the cloves is a plant and you want some decent spacing between each plant about a foot because they get fairly big and um, they start coming up quite early in the uh, spring so um, they're, they're, they're a very hardy plant. They're, they're very frost resistant. I did, however, we had some bad frost up here. People lost a lot of apples in my neck of the woods. I've probably heard reports about it. But, so we had some solar blankets. They're very inexpensive. They're only $6 to buy. You usually buy them as like a frost blanket. Home Hardware sells them in other places. I go to Home Hardware because it's a good Canadian store. And uh, we covered them up for a couple of nights. We came out and covered them up. And no big deal before bed, before it gets dark. Anyway, um, with the garlic, uh, you'll know that it'll be ready because the mainstay of these green leaves here uh, will start to shoot a spire. And uh, this, this, this cormic looking kind of thing will come up. It'll look like the shape of a goose's head and it'll twist and turn. Once that happens, you can cut those off and uh, they're good eating. They're really good. You can fry them in a pan with butter and, uh, or a little bit of oil, just a little bit of salt. And uh, then the leaves will start to go through a, a browning period. Once you're, you've had about seven to nine sets of leaves and your third grouping of leaves is brown, you pretty much know the bulb is ready. We like to wait till August, late July sometimes. That way, when we uh, store it in the house, uh, it stays longer. We had bulbs up until about three weeks ago in the house that we were using. So uh, late April, that's pretty good. Um, so garlic, it's your best friend.